Good morning, everybody. Steve here from the Whirly Bogger. Again here at Reinhardt Park in Ellensburg. You can see from our last report that we did last week how much the river has dropped. You just look at last week's report and look at the boat launch here just that I'm that I got the camera pointed at. You can see how much the river's dropped, probably three and a half feet. So in really good condition. It's got a little bit of a tint to it, but it's down low again. And, and you're gonna find places where it's easily wadeable uh, now if you're uh, boatless. So river's in, in fantastic shape. Probably expect this, you know, to remain in this type of uh, flow structure until we see a warming period and they call for more water to be released. So we're, we're completely through our spring runoff. So as far as snowpack goes, anything that's left is in the high elevations. And all that's going to be, well, the majority of it is all going to be captured in the reservoirs as it melts. So the river is now completely under the control of man. And he will dictate the water releases. For the rest of the year. So kind of one of the uh, unique characteristics about our river that makes it a lot different than a lot of the other rivers you know that we fish around the west here so Yakima just uh, very unusual but very fantastic in its own right so with that being said here's what you can expect bug wise so caddis lots and lots of caddis Golden stones are starting to show up. PMDs, there's still March Browns happening uh, through the farmlands and the upper river. And yellow sallies. And we'll probably start seeing a few green drakes pop here the first week or 10 days into June. So uh, that happens primarily in the farmlands and the upper river. So expect that there if you uh, happen to be fishing in those sections of the river majority of the, of the season uh, you know it's mostly kind of a nymphing show when you start out in the morning bugs are starting to move around the nymphs mergers moving around underneath the surface and then as the day warms up then they start forming and uh, start hatching throughout the rest of the day so dry fly fishing if you're if you're into dry fly fishing now listen We've been fishing dry flies since February, so it is the last day of May. We're approaching uh, the months of summer, so our fish are really oriented. They're really surface oriented feeders. So if you like to fish dry flies, you don't necessarily need to see fish rising on the surface to fish dry flies. We fish a lot of attractor patterns here and, and uh, you can get fish to rise that way if that's your, uh, that's your game but we're moving into summer mode so the fish are going to be moving around a lot during the day so you got to kind of you know adjust your fishing structures adjust your water types because fish will be moving from less oxygenated water into more oxygenated water as the temperatures come up so keep that in mind too the fish are always moving around throughout the day and then last week, you know, I touched on uh, our boat launch issues and our access issues. And had a bunch of people reach out to me. We started up a list. So we're looking for folks that want to volunteer their time, give their feedback once a month, sit on a subcommittee for uh, Yakima River access. Let's create some more access points on the river. Spread this pressure out. You know, if you've been fishing in the West, you've been fishing in Montana, you know, on the Madison, the Bighorn, some of those really popular rivers. I mean, you can see that they have tons and tons of people floating in one section of the river. I mean, it's not unusual to have 150 boats and 10 miles of river. So when people say to me that 
you know, they drive up through the canyon and they saw eight boats and they think that's a lot. Yeah, that's not a lot. So, but it's coming and we need to create more access. The more access that we can create, the more pressure we spread out and uh, protect the fishery. So that's what it's all about. Our fishery is, has been enhanced with salmon over the last 20 years and it get, keeps getting better and better every season we want to uh, protect that and make sure that it, it stays on that upward cycle and uh, doesn't start to uh, spiral out of control and go in a downward so if you'd like to uh, sit on that committee volunteer your time we'd appreciate it contact me uh, at the fly shop send me an email whatever's convenient for you we'll put your name on the list and uh, We'll compile that all, we'll get the subcommittee put together, and then uh, we'll start uh, putting projects together. So, everybody have a great week. River's in great shape. Summer is just around the corner. Give us a call if you want to get out. We'd love to have you. Till then, see you on the river. <laughs>